Hi everyone, Fritz here. In today's video, we're gonna go over your catalase test. Your catalase test is a very simple lab that takes only about five minutes and builds on other lab concepts as well as other lecture concepts that you've learned throughout your microbiology course. The first thing that you're gonna to need to do is grab a slide and add two bacteria on the opposite ends of the slide. From here, you're gonna add hydrogen peroxide to both bacteria. And third, you're gonna look for the presence of bubbles. So one of these bacteria, when you add the hydrogen peroxide, will just be pretty much inert and nothing will happen. But the other one, when you do add the hydrogen peroxide, you'll notice the formation of bubbles, and it's gonna be pretty rapid as well. So this indicates to us that we have a positive result, and this means that we have a negative result. The significance of this means that the enzyme catalase broke down the hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen molecules. But what does this mean in the bacteria's perspective? This means that the bacteria has something called flavoprotein. Flavoprotein is an electron carrier that helps the bacteria skips all the steps that we went over in the electron transport chain in the aerobic respiration and help the bacteria generate more ATP faster. So all those mini steps that we talked about before, we don't have to do that because of the presence of flavoprotein. However, the negative trade-off here is that when we're using the pathway that flavoprotein provides, we're actually creating some toxic chemicals in the bacteria, such as hydrogen peroxide, as well as superoxide. These two molecules actually need to be dispersed or detoxified in order for the bacteria to survive. So it makes no sense for the bacteria to create energy if it's creating toxic chemicals that are going to kill it. So how does it do this? It uses catalase to break down the hydrogen peroxide. And you might be wondering what happens to the superoxide? Well, let's actually take a look at what flavoprotein actually does, as well as how we detoxify the superoxide to hydrogen peroxide. First, we have our reduced flavoprotein. And in the presence of oxygen, what we're going to do is convert this into hydrogen peroxide and the oxidized version of flavoprotein. But we have superoxide created in this process. And what we get when we mix protons from the electron transport chain with superoxide, we'll also need something called superoxide dismutase. And when all of this combines, we get more hydrogen peroxide and oxygen. So what we have is a buildup of hydrogen peroxide here and here, which is good because we have catalase to get rid of this as was indicative of our lab up here. How does catalase do this? Catalase will take these two hydrogen peroxide molecules and turn it into two H2O molecules as well as an oxygen molecule. And that is exactly how the bacteria detoxifies the toxic chemicals that are produced when using the pathway of flavoprotein and skipping all of the individual steps of the electron transport chain in this specific bacteria or bacteria of this kind. And here are some other questions that you can expect on test day. Now feel free to answer those questions down in the comment section below. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future microbiology videos. And all the links for the study materials are going to be down in the description. And I'll see all of you in the next one.